it's Kayla and in today's video I am going to show you guys how a blind person uses a computer and a smartphone. This is probably one of the most common questions I get from people is if you can't see, how do you use a computer? How can you use your phone? Um, I also get uh, quite a few comments from visually impaired people who maybe can use their computer or their phone with magnification that wonder if or when I lose more vision, how will I be able to use technology? Um, and then also it's internet trolls favorite thing to wonder about. How are you writing this comment if you're blind? So I'm going to be answering that question for you guys today and show you how it works. Um, so blind people use what is called a screen reader or screen reading technology, which basically just reads everything on the screen to you. Um, it's a similar concept for both phones and computers, but they do work a little differently. So I'm just going to um, show you both of them. I'll also mention before I get into that, that um, screen readers are pretty complicated. There is quite a bit of a learning curve. There is a lot of different key commands and gestures to do a lot of different things. Um, it's pretty complex, so I'm not going to be getting into all of the details. I'm just giving a very general overview today. Okay, so first I'm going to start by showing you my computer. So the screen reading software I have on here um, is called JAWS. Well, actually it's called Fusion, which is a combination of JAWS, which is the screen reader, and Zoom Text, which is magnification. Um, I don't use the magnification anymore um, because I can't really see much of anything, um, but that's the program I used to transition between using magnification and using a screen reader. Um, and also my, I have the colors inverted, which is kind of like dark mode. So my screen may look a little different because having like a bright white screen is painful. It feels like I'm staring into the sun. Um, so I don't use a mouse at all because I can't see it. So everything I do, I just use the keyboard. So there are keyboard commands that are specific to JAWS, and then there are a bunch that are um, just Windows key commands that anyone, even sighted people, can use without a screen reader. You may be familiar with like Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Um, so there are actually tons and tons and tons of keyboard commands, but like I said, I'm just gonna go over the basics. So um, I'm gonna start by pulling up a Word document. Okay, so I have a Word document pulled up. It's just an old grad school paper. So I'm gonna show you um, how I navigate around to just read text. So I can use the up and down arrows to read line by line. History and development. Mindfulness intervention was derived from cognitive behavioral theory. It had pinpoint the development of cognitive behavioral theory. Um, and then I can use, um, if I do control up and down arrow, I can navigate between paragraphs. Mindfulness intervention is considered to be part page two key constructs. The central idea of CBT is that thoughts can. Um, and then using the left and right arrows, um, I can navigate character by character. T H E space C E N T R A L space. Um, and then control left and right arrows, I can um, move word by word. Idea of CBT is that thoughts can be changed as well. Um, so that's kind of the basics of just being able to read. Um, and then if I use any of those controls, oh, well, I guess I should mention something else I use pretty often is the home and the end key. So home takes home me um, to the beginning of a line, end takes and me blank. to the end of the line, and then control home goes to page one, top of file, the right. beginning of the document or the page, and then control end goes to the end of the page. So if I wanted to like copy and paste, say I wanted to take this History and development. first this section, I can do um, shift with any of the controls, like to do by line, by word, by paragraph. Um, Selected. Mindfulness so that just highlights the first line. Theories, colon, um, theories, colon, cognitive theory and behavioral I can highlight by words or Mindful. let's see. Um, so if I wanted to highlight this first Mindful paragraph, I would 
shift control down arrow and then I could copy and then if I wanted to paste it see in this key constructs I can paste and there it is um, so that's kind of the basics for that um, if I wanted to get up in the ribbon I can hit alt um, and I can navigate around by using the tab button or I can just hit the letter if I know where I want to go so like alt R goes to review and then I can tab to find what I want so if I want word count I can hit that or I know the key command is Alt R W and it'll take me right to it. Word count dialogue statistics colon pages fourteen words three thousand eight hundred sixty nine. So there's the the word count. Include text boxes, um, and check box, check And so like this has a checkbox to include footnotes, so I can hit spacebar and uncheck that checkbox. Space not checked. Um and yeah, so there we go. That's pretty much the basics Escape. of Word. Section one has page header edit page Alt F four Microsoft Word tab don't save button. Okay, so now let's um, go do something on the internet. So if I want to go to my desktop, I can hit Windows D. Windows D, folder view, list view, documents, um, shortcut, and then I can 16. hit G to go to Google Chrome. G, Google Chrome. And then enter, enter to click on it. Address and search bar edit. So let's search Address something. Search let's see. We'll search Taylor Swift. T R A Y L O R Taylor. Oh, and I also didn't show you when I type something. S W I F T. It reads each letter as I type it. Swift, Taylor Swift. And then it reads the word um, after I hit the space bar. Enter Google.com. So we can search, search that. Um, and then I can use H. I can just hit the letter H to navigate by headings. Accessibility links, search modes, heading, search results, heading level one, top stories, heading level two. People also ask about this res web results, heading level two. Taylor Swift vertical bar home, heading level three. Twitter results, heading level two. Taylor Swift left pair in the Taylor Swift. I miss you terribly and can't wait. And then I can also use the up and down arrows to navigate line by line. Um, so that's how I can do a Google search. Um, and let's go to a website. If I hit Two, three, four, five, six, F6. F6. Select it puts me up UTF in the um, address bar. So let's go to apple.com. Um, and then I can, I can use tab to navigate around different buttons, or I can use arrow keys just to navigate line by line. So let's see if I want to look at iPhones, I just hit enter. And there they are. I can navigate by headings using my H key, which is probably one of the more common key commands that I use iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini heading level 2, iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max heading level 2. And then I can use my arrows Blank. to read a little more. Blank. From $41.62 slash mo. Same page link footnote 2. Blank. List of two items. Buy iPhone 12 Pro button link. Learn more about iPhone 12 Pro. If I wanted to learn more, enter. I can click that button by hitting enter. And um, so yeah, that's brief overview of using the internet. I can Alt F4, Alt F4 to close test. that window. And yeah, that's that's the computer. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I use a screen reader on my iPhone. So I use um, what's called VoiceOver, um, which just comes on every Apple product in the accessibility features and settings. So you don't have to like buy any extra software or download anything extra it's just on there so pretty much it just reads anything i touch on the screen mail no one read emails photos camera clock 6 um, p.m. and so i can swipe um just to the right calendar set notes weather to go from item to item notes. or i can swipe left to go calendar. backwards 6:29 p.m. um or um i kind of know how things are laid out so PM. If I want to go to the phone, page two of four, a dog, phone. I know it's in the bottom left corner, so I don't have to like swipe through everything because I know where it is. And that makes it a lot easier with both the phone and on the computer if you are using an application or a website that you are familiar with. Um, 
it's a lot easier to navigate because you kind of know where everything is and how it's laid out. If it's something new, sometimes it can be a lot more difficult to navigate because you really have to do a lot of exploring to find what you're looking for and to, um, to know where everything is. So let's go to an app. So let's go to Twitter and I'll just double tap to click on it. So this is my profile um, and I can just swipe back and forth to go between video. each Kayla with a C. item. Cover of driver's license. Kayla with a C. New video. Kayla with a C. Tomorrow I will be releasing a Kayla, Kayla with a C. Um, and then Cover you can also, um, I can swipe up and down for actions. View tweet author's profile. More actions. Copy text. Analytics. Share via. Like. Retweet. Reply. So if I want to retweet. like it, I can just double tap. Like. And I can Kayla like with it. A retweet. Undo like. And then I'm going to unlike it because I don't want to like unlike. my own tweet. Kayla with a C. Cover up. Um, and let's see. We can compose. Kayla with a C. 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 Down here somewhere. Messages tab. Kayla with a C. Oh. Messages tab. Selected. Search and explore. Home tab. Compose tweet. Button. There we go. Compose tweet. Um, so five. now I've got the keyboard. So I can type. Um, Cap G. Cap H. Cap H. W. E. E L L L O O space space hello and it reads each character as I type it and then reads the word when I hit the space bar um, and again like I'm familiar with the keyboard layout so I can um, just generally tap where the letters are and usually get pretty close to them and if I don't hit the letter exactly I can just swipe over um, to the next one so I can use that but I prefer to use dictation instead so I can double tap Hello, exclamation point. I am doing a video demonstration. Inserted hello. I am doing a video demonstration. Um, so you can um, dictate that way. I prefer that. Um, and then I will show you what's called the rotor, which is kind of like you do two fingers, almost like you're twisting a knob on the screen. Text selection, speaking rate, containers, headings. And it gives you options to use um, with the voiceover. Typing mode. Edit. Misspelled words. Characters. Words. So if I go to words, if I flick up and down with one finger on the screen. Demonstration. Video. A. Doing. Um, I can go, you know, word by word. I can characters. do characters. D. O. I. N. G. Um, words. Text selection. You can also do it by lines. There's an option for text selection. So I could like. Word selection. Um, do word selection a video demonstration selection. and then I can I can copy that um, speaking rate. another option in the rotor is a the speaking rate so like right now I have the speaking rate turned down because a lot of sighted people or people who aren't used to voiceover can't understand it when it's fast um, but I usually have it 65, 70, 70, 80%. Um, like this text field is editing a video demonstration selected Actions available. Um, which a lot of people, like I said, can't understand. So I have it slow so you guys can understand it. So Words. let's turn it back Lines. down for Text you. Speaking rate, 75, 70, 65, 60%. Um, and then... Containers. Headings. Typing mode. Edit. Anyways, okay. So that's pretty much the rotor. Um, and let's do something else. Let's go Twitter. to Safari. Safari. And let's search something online. Address. So I'm going to Search click up in name. the address bar. Address. Search or enter website. And then I'm going to double tap to dictate. C. Fudge pie recipe. Cap. Inserted fudge pie recipe. Go. Go. And then um, my rotor should be set to headings. Let's Save. check. Links. Headings. Yep. So headings. Um, I'm going to go up and Save. down, Button. and I can fudge navigate pie. between Link. different headings. Old fashioned fudge pie. Southern fudge pie, chocolate fudge pie, web results, fudge pie recipe, vertical line, all recipes, fudge pie, easy and amazing vertical line, southern food and fun. Um, so if that's the one I want, I can just fudge double tap reader that available. Reader available. and then um, right double arrows. just pie. swipe Link. around. Right arrows. Fudge pie, e skip to printable recipe, fudge pie made with cocoa, a slice of fudge pie topped with a dollop of whipped cream, image. Oh, look, Play. and that has an image description. Um, so... That's pretty much how I navigate around. I can also use the rotor and do navigate by 
um, words or lines or characters um, or headings. Helpful tools and ingredients, colon, heading level two, ingredients. Um, and I can also, if I just want to scroll up and down on the page, I can use a three finger swipe page six of 26. to Talk scroll to down. Page nine of 26. And yeah, so I guess that's um, about it. And you know, if you're thinking that I can see because I'm generally tapping in the right areas for what I am wanting to do, you know, I, I really can't see what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just used to using this. Um, and so that's a common misconception people Dog. have Safari. is that if sighted people are, Dog. or Safari. not sighted people, if blind people are looking at their phone or if they are able, gosh, able to navigate around efficiently, they think you must be able to see, but no, we can't. We are just um, good at using our technology. Um, so that's how you use it. I will also admin mention that there are other accessibility features for other types of disabilities. There's also um, Zoom for visually impaired people to use. Um, so that's what I used to use before I lost um, more vision. So I think I still have it enabled. You can do a three finger double tap to zoom in and you can use those three fingers to like uh, move the screen around. So that's another accessibility option too. Um, there's actually, there's tons of them. Apple's great for accessibility. So that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful, interesting. Hope you learned something. Um, if you have any questions for me, you can leave those in the comments below and I will see you guys next time.